So here we've got our function that we previously graphed. And now we're going to find the zeros. Now the zeros are the x values of where the um, x-intercepts are. So where the graph crosses the x-axis. So to find the zeros, I'm going to go menu, analyze graph, zero. And I go the lower bound, upper bound. And now to move around, you can use your trackpad. Just trace along your trackpad, which is up here. The upper bound, and there it is there. There's my first zero, negative 2.3. 0, which we say, so we say the actual 0 is x equals negative 2.3. So it's just the x value, because of course the y value will be 0, because it's along the x-axis. Now, this one over here looks maybe like 1, 0, but I think it's 2. So if we zoom in, menu, window, zoom, zoom in, go in there, now we can see there are two zeros. So we'll go menu, analyze graph, 0, lower bound, upper bound, there's one of them, so it's at x equals 1, to find the other one, zoom, sorry, analyze graph, 0, lower bound, upper bound, and there's our other one. So if I zoom out again, I can see them all. So we see that our zeros for this cubic function are x equals negative 2.3, x equals 1, and x equals 1.3.